Good morning. So it's a very sunny day as you can see, but I am now on my way to have lunch with two other au pairs and hopefully that will be fun um, and hopefully they're nice. One of them is Swedish and the other one is German, I think. But she's studying Swedish and I think that's kind of cool. I'm vlogging in public. Can you imagine me talking to her in public? I have a day off today, so I think after lunch I am going into central London and I might meet up with one or two other rappers for coffee. And then I need to do some shopping because I need to organize my makeup and skincare and everything and I'm out of breath. I also need to find a gym because I can't keep being here without exercising. This is also my first vlog filming in London. How exciting. And shaking like mad. But okay, that's fine. Hopefully I can stabilize it a bit. Editing. So I just had like a traditional paper map and I got really like, people still use that? You have a phone, you have Google Maps, you have the map. Why would you have a paper map? I guess it's a bit more charming if you do. Go away. Okay. Uh, you this way? Here we are. Minister. It said public station, but I read pubic. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Iceland, Finland. When I make for you this, I don't want to confound you as a tourist people. You are like family here. <laughs> you no, know, yesterday even they were showing documentary about the Scandinavian. Yeah. It's the most happiest people in the planet. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, Iceland, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark. They are the most happiest people in the planet. Oh. Yeah. For some people, we can make it and give us like 12 pounds, 15 pounds. But you are from Scandinavia? No. You give what you like. So you are nice. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it's you pay what you want. Okay. I don't want when I stop here, I say give me 12 pounds. No. You give what you decide. No, I give you 15 then. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I wish you enjoy your holiday as well, okay? Thank you. Thank Do you, you. want to be in a video? Why not? With pleasure. Uh, matata. Thanks, thanks, bye. <laughs> he just made me a bracelet. Matata. Video, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what's your name? Kamara, I know. Kamara. Oh, thank you so much. And you, what's your name? Stephanie. I wish you enjoy your holiday as well, okay? Ah, uh, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> I paid too much money, but it was nice. I didn't want to be worse than anyone else. I think kind of think you're bullshitting me. You definitely bullshit me. Like, no one pays 
twelve pounds for that. Like this, it's a piece of fucking string. And then it just says get a name and people like friendly and I'm like sure okay. I give him fucking fifteen pounds. Am I crazy? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean I'm happy. for a piece of string. I mean, come on. Hi, so I never finished the vlog yesterday because I kind of forgot and then when I came home I was really tired because I would walked everywhere and it was just like a mess because I took the rails to Waterloo and then I didn't know how to get from Waterloo to like Chinatown, Oxford Street, Cumber Garden, that type of very tourist areas. So I walked and it took like an hour <laughs> because I didn't know where I was going. And then I went through um, like Trafalgar Square and everything was a mess, kind of a mess. So yeah, but now I thought I would show you what I purchased, which are just a few items and hopefully you like it. And I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but let's just get into it, okay? Okay, so the first items I got was, well, it's not, but is the first one I'm going to, well, getting into. I don't even know. Um, it's this black top. It's a crop top, I'll show you. Um, which is this crop top. It's got a pocket up here. And yeah, it's just a regular crop top, basically. And, and this was the next item I got also from H&M. It's a green crop top with a high neck. It's got some texture to it. You, you can see, I don't know how to describe it, but the fabric of both this one and this t-shirt is like, well, this is just a regular t-shirt, so it's no like, whatever. But this one is really soft, I think, and I am a fan of it. At H&M, I also picked up just like hair ties because I need more hair ties, and these cost about three pounds. But in one of Suella's vlogs, I think it was last year, maybe it was even further back than that, she had purchased this like see-through raincoat, which I thought was just genius because if you have like a fly outfit and you want everyone to see it, you don't want to wear like this big, ugly like raincoat to cover it all up. So if you wear a clear one, then you can go out in the rain and you can still look Good, like you can still have a really nice outfit you know so that's what I did I went to Primark not with the intention of finding one but then I saw one at, on a mannequin and I was like I need that I need to see it I need to find it see if there's anything in my size and there is so I got this one which is just like a clear yeah, raincoat, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. This one was for £20. I don't think that's particularly expensive. I did take this in, uh, I think, one or two sizes too big because then I could have a bag with me and the bag would fit underneath it, which I wanted because I don't want my bags to get wet because I have my electronics and such in there. That's all for clothing and such, so I didn't really find anything... I wanted to go to anthropology, but my I don't have that much money, so I couldn't, and I also didn't know where it was, so that's also a thing. But I also got two books at Foils, is it? Foils? Yeah. The problem I had with Foils is that you can't see the prices of the books, so you kind of just have to go there and then you pick up a book that you want, you go to pay for it, and then like once you're paying for it, you know how much it is. Or you have to ask someone, but I didn't, because I was like, hopefully it's not too expensive and I can afford it. The first book I picked up was this one, and it is The Ten Types of Human, Who We Are and Who We Can Be by Dexter Diaz. It looks like this. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's got around 800 pages, so it's basically like Harry Potter and Dora of the Phoenix, because that one is the thickest one. I think it's around 800 if it was around 1,000 pages. So, yeah. 
I'm just going to read the back, so if you want to know what it's about, then read the back. And if you don't want to know what it's about, then just skip forward a bit. We want to believe that there are some things we would never do and others we always would. But how can we be sure? What are our limits? Do we have limits? This book will introduce you to 10 people. They are the 10 types of human. Mixing cutting-edge neuroscience, social psychology and human rights research to discover the best and worst that human beings are capable of. Dexter Diaz uh, explores the forces that shape our thoughts and actions in extreme situations, providing a new understanding of who we are and who we can be. Sounds interesting. At least I think it sounds interesting. So I'm excited to read this. I will 100% make a video about this to do a review, see what I think about it. But it will probably take me some time to read it because I'm a slow reader. The next book I picked up is Raymond E. Feast, Feist, um, King of Ashes. And it is the first volume of the Fire Main Saga. I've never heard of this series before, this saga before. So I am interested to see what it is about. It doesn't say anything in the, on the back apart from uh, from the ashes of war a king must rise. So that's that I know nothing about this and I find that kind of thrilling and good because going into a book knowing nothing about it and then reading it like you just get to picture everything yourself other than if people were to start reading Harry Potter now, for example, for the first time, and they've already seen the films or they've heard other people talk about it, then they will get like influenced by other people's thoughts. And then, of course, they will be influenced by the film and like how the characters are portrayed in the film and not being able to fully imagine everything themselves, if that makes sense. So I'm excited to read it and see what I think about it and after I've read it maybe I'll read the rest of the saga I don't know how many volumes there are but it should be good I hope it will be good if you've read either one of these then let me know in the comments below just don't spoil anything just let me know is it good is it bad is it worth reading is it like anything you've read before um what are your thoughts basically just let me know I'm excited to read your comments even though no comments on my videos but i mean maybe you could be the first <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, that's it for this week's vlog hopefully you like it and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss any other videos i also have a blog so if you want to read my blog which i post a lot more frequently on now than i used to and i post more frequently on there than i do on this channel because i post a few times a week and here i usually just do once a week and also if you want to follow me on instagram everything or other social media everything will be in the down description down description below in the description box below so that you can catch up to what i'm doing every day and yeah i most yeah, i mostly use uh, instagram and sometimes twitter and snapchat but mostly instagram so follow me there yeah <laughs> if you want to you don't have to i mean Whatever, okay. Thank you for watching and goodbye.